Let me begin by once again acknowledging the bravery and the sacrifice that our military makes every single day and the loss of those Americans and Marines and sailor and army personnel is tragic. As I said yesterday, and Prime Minister and I have talked about it slightly, it's, he's a military man, gone to war, lost a friend. Uh, you know, losing a, a son, a daughter, a husband, a wife is uh, like being sucked into a big black hole in the middle of your chest and you don't think there's any way out. I wonder what's happening. So my heart goes out. Our hearts go out to all those who we've lost. But look, um, the mission there being performed is dangerous. And it's, uh, now it's come with a significant loss of American personnel. And uh, But it's a worthy mission because they continue to evacuate uh, folks out of that region, out of the airport. They've evacuated more than 12,000 additional people out of the airport in the last uh, 24 hours. I met with my commanders this morning, first thing in the morning, got a detailed briefing about yesterday's attacks and the measures they're taking to protect our forces and complete the mission. And we will complete the mission.